Do Californians really want the border wall? Are the schools and hospitals really overcrowded? And can you really spot celebrities at hot dog joints in LA? Oh my God. Well, dude, we're gonna hella cover everything about Cali that you like need to know in this video. As if. Okay, before I start, I grew up here, so don't even try with that you know nothing about California crap. Hi, Mom. When you say California, a lot of people think of snobby, Botox, yoga people eating salad. Or they think of hot, tan surfer chicks. Or plastic banning hippies. Fact is, there's a little of everything here. It's very diverse, and each area of California has a completely different culture and vibe. California could be like eight different regions. Let's begin in the mountainy region near the Oregon border, where you'll find California's hippies and hicks, tons of weed operations, and bears. This is perhaps the only real green part of the whole state. Then there's the Eastern Sierra Mountains, which have throwback mountain towns, skiing, and Lake Tahoe, which means gambling and degenerates. Here on the Eastern side of the state, it's basically all deserts. Death Valley's here, this also includes the main route to Las Vegas. The four hour drive to Vegas is the only time people in California actually see California's deserts. The Central Valley is basically smelly farms, illegal farm workers from Mexico, and crummy, poor, boring cities like Fresno, Stockton, Bakersfield, and the state capital, Sacramento. This might be one of the most uninspiring state capitals in the nation. As such, it has the nickname Sacramento. Perhaps the most notable section of the Central Valley is Napa, which includes very pretty wineries where middle-aged women take their friends to get hammered and gossip about their failed marriages. Of course, you have the Bay Area with its hippies, granola eaters, thugs, rich techies, poor wannabe techies, smarty pants, Asians, and bums. The Bay Area is very expensive, crowded, and frankly, filled with poop. At least, San Francisco is. Across the bridge in Oakland is where everybody gets capped. Probably the best part of the state is the Central Coast, from Santa Barbara up to the Santa Cruz region. You can take the one up the entire coastline of the state and see some really pretty cliffside views of the ocean. Sprinkled among the coast are a few communities, such as Monterey and San Luis Obispo. You have San Diego, a region all on its own. This little corner of California has rolling hillsides, beautiful ocean views, and tons of actually not too snobby people with great hair and solid tans. San Diego is probably the best city in the country. And then you have Southern California. You could actually break Southern California up into 10 different areas. It's really crowded here. It's expensive, dirty, and everyone's high. Oh, and it's like half Mexican. LA is okay. You might spot a celebrity every now and then if you go to the fancy areas like West Hollywood or Brentwood, but many people here are materialistic. You don't spend too much time actually visiting people because the traffic's so bad, mostly the 10 or the 405. Oh yeah, and it's not Interstate 10 or Highway 91, it's the 10 and the 91. That's a California thing. LA is also the biggest city in the world to have such a horrible public transportation system. You hardly ever see anyone with a decent job on the light rail here, and you never see anyone with a decent job on an LA bus. As if. Orange County is really the only place in California where you'll find the blonde hair, big boobs, and fancy cars you see on TV. Like LA, Orange County is also crowded and expensive. Disneyland's here, which is crowded and expensive. The most popular beaches in California are in Orange County. They're crowded and expensive. The only place in Southern California that's not expensive is inland Southern California, or what locals call the IE. This is where you move if you don't want the LA drama or can't afford it. It's hot here. Did we mention California's expensive? Unless you want to live out in the desert somewhere, there's not an affordable house as far as the eye can see. You'll pay 500 grand for a small house with a tiny yard. There's mountains in Southern California too, but the people who live here don't actually visit them, mostly because they can't drive the snow or the rain. No, they go to the beaches on the weekends instead. And the water here is really cold, by the way. 
While some of the beaches in central and northern California are some of the prettiest in the country, where you can spot seals and whales, the southern California beaches, from Malibu to San Diego, are filled with cigarette butts. California girls, they're unreliable. Oh, 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 oh. Let's talk about the food in California. The Golden State's defining go-to culinary choice is one of the state's estimated 7 million fast food restaurants. Favorites in California include In-N-Out, Jack in the Box, Baker's, El Pollo Loco, Taco Bell, Tommy's, Jack in the Box, I said that already, and McDonald's, which originally started here. And of course, there's Del Taco. Whenever I feel like a great tasting meal, I go back to Del Taco again. If you watch this channel regularly, you'll know we are big fans of some Del Taco. Also very popular in California is just generic Mexican food. There's just a bunch of mom and pop Mexican joints here. California Mexican food has a style all its own. When asked what their favorite food was, Californians answered with a resounding Mexican food. With Pop-Tarts and Nestle's Quick also receiving votes. The Bay Area doesn't like Mexican food nearly as much as the LA area does. Up there, it's mostly Asian food that people eat a lot. What about the southern border, you ask? If you're a Californian, you've likely crossed into Mexico at the San Diego border at least once. Tijuana is basically where the college kids go to party or where people cross over to get cheap tacos and trinkets. If you live in Mexico, you cross the border to mow lawns, work in construction or work in hotels, save a little money and send it home to your family. There's a big debate among Southern Californians about their relationship with Mexico. On one hand, it's great to experience the Mexican culture. The Mexican community is relatively fun-loving, and except for a few outliers, they stay out of trouble for the most part. However, partly because of the large number of people on welfare here, California's government is on the verge of bankruptcy. Hey Nick, did you know 70,000 undocumented people come to California each year? I did not know the exact number, Mappy. Thanks for clearing that up. Mappy's right. Each year, many people come to California undocumented. If you look at this chart, most of California's 500,000 immigrants last year were documented, but 14% were undocumented. That is 70,000 undocumented people moving into California each year, mostly from Mexico, but also in big numbers from Asia, especially in places like China, the Philippines, Vietnam, and India. Mappy, are you documented? Where did you come from? The library five years ago. Hmm. Are you due back to the library, Mappy? Hey. So, many people in California think the schools and the hospitals and the entire state in general are full. Except the deserts. They're empty. Many Californians wish they could call in help to protect the border. But who would they call? I am He-Man. Call She-Ra and me at 1-900-909-2233. They can totally call me and I will totally come help them protect the California border. There's actually a website called Exit California where you can get all the information you need to learn how to leave California. In fact, last year, 187,000 people left California, likely for good. There was also this report that showed moving trucks cost two grand each because there's so many people leaving California for other places. What about the politics? From the 50s through the 80s, California was a Republican stronghold. Ronald Reagan was California's governor, and he went on to become one of our finest presidents. Then in the 90s, California turned liberal, and it's been downhill ever since. California's weather is pretty predictable. Basically, it doesn't rain from April through December, and then all winter, they get pummeled by rain because of what seems to be an endless El Nino pattern. For the most part, it's really hot and boring, except in the fall, when the whole place goes up in flames. And there used to be earthquakes here, like all the time up until 20 years ago. Now the ground's eerily quiet. There's a ton of people new to California who have never even felt an earthquake. Just wait. By the way, remember this lady, California peeps? What about the sports in California? California has a long history of successful sports teams. The Oakland Raiders dominated the NFL for a long stretch. From 1967 through 1978, the Raiders finished either first or second in their division, winning two championships. Then the Raiders moved to LA in 1982 and stayed until 1994 when they moved back to Oakland. 
That's why just about everyone, especially the Mexicans, love the Raiders in Southern California. There's a decent number of Rams fans and a smattering of Chargers fans in Southern California. There's a bunch of 49ers fans in the Bay Area. And Phillip Rivers is the best quarterback ever. In the 80s, the Lakers with Magic, Kareem, Worthy, Cooper, and Kurt Rambis dominated the NBA. They took first in the Western Conference every single year in the 80s, taking home four NBA titles. Then Magic Johnson got AIDS and quit playing. Dodger fans are all over Southern California. Again, mostly Mexicans. Giants fans dominate San Francisco. These two teams hate each other and their fans fight in the parking lot after games. Sometimes people die. There's a few Angels and a few A's fans, and the Padres basically suck. Nobody cares about them. Hockey's not really a big deal, except for a few diehard LA Kings and San Jose Sharks fans. Soccer's actually quite huge in California. Again, mostly because of all the Mexicans. California is a large, complex place. As it's become more liberal over time, it's put a strain on its own system it vows to protect. That means people here have to deal with it as they take advantage of it or flee to places like Arizona, Colorado, Montana, Idaho, anywhere else. If you live in California and earn a pretty decent salary, it's not such a bad place. There's a lot to do within a half day's drive. But if you're broke, like a lot of the people here are, you're gonna have a bad time. There is so much more we could have talked about. We could have talked about how legalization has impacted every aspect of life here. Or how about just about everyone here is self-absorbed and shallow or how high-speed chases are must-watch TV just about every week. We could take an entire video just talking about any of these topics, but bro, it's time to go. If we don't leave now, we're gonna get stuck in traffic on the five for like ever. The end. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the next video. We also have a second channel called Home Snacks Junior. Those videos are also great. You should subscribe to that one too. Bye.